old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. This is Bloggers Day 13. Oh, yeah. We well on our way to Christmas, y'all. Day 13. All right, y'all. We're getting a little fancier here, y'all. Getting a little fancier here. We're doing some old school baked brie. Y'all never had brie cheese, brie cheese. When I first saw brie cheese, I thought it was the most disgusting looking cheese I ever seen before. I, I tasted it. And it's tasted right and cooked properly. You can eat it raw or warm like I'm doing it now. It's absolutely amazing. Let me tell you something about Brie. When I first worked on, started working on the job I retired from, they had a thing called Barquettes. What they were, they was Brie cheese in a little puff pastry pocket. And they would put them, every member would come in, every guest would come in this particular dining room called the Potomac Room. And they would get these. Uh, it was like a appetizer, a free comp appetizer when they sat down. And I thought they were the most disgusting thing. And since I tasted one, y'all, it's something about puff pastry and brie, the butter in the puff pastry and the creaminess of the brie. It's absolutely amazing. Well, a little sweetness of the, I'm using marmalade today. You can use apricot. You can use whatever you want, but I'm using all marmalade. So let me tell you what I got here. Brie cheese, puff pastry. Like I said, I got some. Nice almond, orange marmalade here. Got some fancy crackers. No club crackers, Kenna, for this. Do not, I'm say this again, Kenna, do not be eating club crackers with brie cheese. It doesn't go well together. No grits either for me. So I got some nice crackers here. I got some berries to garnish it with. I got strawberry, blackberry, blueberry, and I got red and green grapes. We're gonna put that together to garnish that pair as well. You know, fruit and cheese pair as well together. So. Anyway, I'm going to step off, get my puff pastry open, roll it out, and we're going to put this thing together. It won't take long at all. Vlogmas Day 13, old school brie cheese, baked brie. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right. All right, y'all, I got the cheese open here. And I like this is my favorite brie. The brie president, that's one we use at my job, and this is the one I buy in the supermarket. It's the best. This one right here, the brie president. Uh, now let me explain something about brie here. It comes with this white rind on it. It's grown, it's produced like that, and it's completely 120% edible. And I like the rind. A lot of people don't like it. I love it. Okay, now what I want to do? I want to spread a little of the marmalade on here. Like I say, y'all, you can use apricot. You can use, try and do it the same size as the brie. It just works well together, nice sweet jam. Just works well together on the brie. Okay, got that on there. I'm gonna lay the brie. I like, see how it's got layers on there? I lay the smooth side down, right up on top of that, just like that. So that's gonna be the top of the brie once I finish. And all I'm do, I'm gonna just wrap this up like this, y'all. Just like this, just like a little package there. Now what I can do before I wrap this, I'm gonna take some of these ends off of here, y'all, where I can use as a little garnish on the top. If I had my little, little, uh, like I said, I'm gonna use these as a little Strips on the top, y'all. I make it a little fancy. Don't have to be too fancy on the top. You'll see what I'm talking about once I'm through here, y'all. I'm gonna just put it on the top. And while I go, we just go just like this, y'all. Have it just like a Christmas present. Just like that. See that? Now I'm gonna take my sheet pan here. We're gonna flip it over just like that. See that? Just like that. Just like so. And I'm gonna take my egg wash here. I got an egg wash here. All it is eggs and uh, water. I'm gonna put my little egg wash on here. Then we're gonna go back and put our strips. This one's gonna give it a nice. I'm gonna waste all my egg wash in the sink. gonna give it a nice golden color now like I told you I'm gonna put these little 
Little strips on top here. You don't have to do that. It's just something to make it look a little fancy. A little fancy on there, huh? Make it look a little fancy. Hey, Shep, Shep, you're trying to get fancy on it, yeah. There we go. Yeah, we're just gonna egg wash this as well. Okay, we're gonna put this in the oven. 375 degrees, about, it's gonna take about 20 minutes to cook this off, y'all. In the meantime, we'll come back and get my little crackers and all that thing set up. So when this comes off, it'll go right onto the cracker and the fruit display. So old school brie cheese, how you using that here? We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. And what we gonna do, y'all, we gonna get this platter ready let me finish doing these strawberries. I got them all washed up, but I didn't slice them. So let me get these all sliced up here. Okay, all we do, y'all, is just put the fruit on the platter just like this, as so. We're going to leave space in there for the, of course, for the brie cheese to go in. And we got our grapes on this side, as so. Like I say, try to leave as much space for the brie cheese as possible. Of course, the grapes ain't gonna never cooperate. They wanna roll all over the place. And then, we're gonna, uh, Put our crackers on the other side. And so. Just like this, y'all. You want to have a, it's best to have like a, a variety of crackers. And why I say don't go in there with the old Ritz and club crackers. This, this is uh, Christmas, y'all. You want to be a little fancy with it. You want to be a little fancy with them. There we go. Now, all I got to do, y'all, is wait till the brie come out of the oven. We're going to put that brie right in the middle. And it's ready. It's party time. So, let me let this set right here. And so, and we'll be back once the brie come out. Old school brie cheese. Make brie, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back. We got the brie out the oven, nice and golden brown and hot and bubbly. So this is the careful part you gotta be, even in the restaurant. Let me move that over there. You get this brie off of there onto the platter without busting it for presentation possible. So look at that. Look like I've done this before, huh? Look like I've done this before, right? How easy is that? How easy is that? So what it is, we're gonna, look at that y'all, that's a breed, that's, put that on your Christmas uh, party table there, and your family and friends will absolutely love it. And like I can say, if you never tasted breed, don't fall yourself short, y'all. This stuff is absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna step off and do my world famous YouTube thumbnail. We're gonna come back and we're gonna cut in this thing while it's nice and hot and gooey. Old school baked bread. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. All right, y'all. Let me show y'all a little bit of this brie here. All right. I'm going to go over here where the crackers are. Kind of move this to the side here. And we're going to cut into this brie, y'all. And that brie should ooze out of there. I just had it setting up there for a while. Look at that. Look at that brie, y'all. Look at that. That's goodness there, y'all. Turn here where you can see it. See that goodness? And get you a little, get you a little cracker there. I'm telling y'all, this stuff, I just say, man, that's the most disgusting thing. Mm -mm. This stuff is amazing, y'all. It's amazing going in here. Mm. 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 Wow. 
And what my favorite part, I get some of this puff pastry. A little that brie. On that puff pastry, y'all. We got butter and cheese together. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna get a better knife. Yeah. I'm gonna get a case knife. Yeah. Like I say, this is why you wanna be fancy. You wanna be fancy with that. Get these fancy crackers out. Mm, 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 mm. Like I said, y'all, you can eat the rind. I'm not a crazy big fan of the rind, but you can eat it. Look at that, y'all. And when you got these flavorful crackers, let me tell you what kind of crackers these are. I got the sweet wheat vegetable, sweet wheat, which I guess assume is that one, vegetable, sea salt and chive, beet and seed, poppy, pepper, stone ground, and whole wheat. That's what these crackers are right here. They all have a different flavor. Excellent crackers for festive, festive uh, platter like this, y'all. Oh God, y'all. Let me try another cracker. Let me try one of these. I got a bigger knife. If I go to a party, I go to many parties that have a cheese display and have a brie cheese, I'm getting brie cheese every time. Who's okay. that? Mm. Mm. And the thing is, these crackers are so thin. And crispy. I got a little flavor on them too. Mm, mm, mm. Now I just eat H-E-B. And they just specifically for charcuterie and cheeses. See that? It say soft brie. Perfectly for soft brie. But yeah, we go to H-E-B, the Central Market. Get some of these crackers here, y'all. You won't regret it. Go with your and then you pop your grape. Mm, all that flavor, y'all. I'm tell you, I'm, I get excited with this. I tell people, man, you can get outside their comfort zone sometime with food and don't believe something. Oh, somebody that told you, oh, that's no good or this is no good. Well, try it for yourself. Make your own decision. I'm telling you, when I first saw Bree, I said, man, that looks disgusting. Man, I tried it. It was a cook in there. He told me. He said, just try it. Let's try it, Jeffrey. And it's going to be absolutely made. And I've been hooked ever since. That was 1988, y'all. Mm. Mm. Sorry, y'all. I'm in my element. <laughs> and and Bree is not that expensive. That little wheel I got was $4 and something. My ATB, so not that expensive, y'all. Hey, y'all. So, anyway, let me close the video out. I'm telling you, I love, <clears throat> I love this stuff so much. I just eat, 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 and eat it. So, if you like this video, hold on, y'all. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Be follow my other social media account. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, GB, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. <clears throat> Get choked up. Remember the hashtag 2023 just showed some kindness. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Vlogmas Day 13 is done.